Hey guys, it's your boy Scandi here and today I'm going to be showing you a really cool method to blending colours on Photoshop. Now the edition that I'm using is Photoshop CC but you can do it on CS6, CS5 and most of the other editions of Photoshop as well. So let's get straight into it. Now I want to click the brush tool to draw my colours on. I've got my opacity 100%, flow 100%. Now make sure that these two are checked as well. They're for pressure so the longer you hold it the darker the colours that you're going to get and to start off I always have my hardness at zero especially when blending if you want to do round the edges say you're colouring in and you want to get close to the edges then have it on 100% so you get a really nice strong clear line but if you're going to be blending always make sure that your hardness is on zero even when colouring in I mean I do anyway and it kind of gives you more of a you know a, a paintbrush tone so when you're when you're blending in the the edges aren't so solid because you know the main thing that you want to do is get rid of the the clear line um, and that's a lot harder to get rid of than that would be so let's just change another tone let's go a little bit darker let's put this on here like that really simple and really easy right okay so the next step you want to take that opacity down to about 50% and then take the flow down I usually take mine down to about seven percent obviously you don't want to be putting you know really heavy colors in the middle you just want to kind of mix the two so just take that down and then I'm going to zoom in to show you okay click on the brush tool again and then you want to use alt to grab your colors so alt and then click and as you can see up here the color changes to whatever it is so again down here alt and click if you want to get a tone in the middle alt and click so to start with I'm going to grab something right from the middle which is the midway point between the two colors and then I'm just going to blend diagonally like this and as you can see the the line starts to disappear a little bit so get that in there really easy grab something a bit lighter from up here and then a bit darker again and do it in a diagonal motion so you get a really nice clean blend and then if you can see any sort of little bits or anything like that just grab the original colour and just kind of smooth it off a little bit to get a really nice rich blend between your two tones okay so when you do come to zoom out you've got a really nice strong blend now literally I've done that in less than one minute by spending a bit more time on it you will get a lot of a better blend but I find that using the smudge tool it, it kind of messes it up a little bit for me um, I'll just zoom in again just to show you by using the smudge tool it kind of I mean you can't really see on there but see how when that goes up no matter what I do I find that I'm always going to be getting a line that comes back and it just it just doesn't work as well for me so I just find that using the paintbrush tool having the opacity down to 50% the flow at about 7% obviously if you want your brush size about 86 it depends on the project that you're doing and the hardness has always got to be on zero and these two checked here you can get a really smooth and a really cool texture and a great blend alright thanks guys I hope you like share and subscribe to the video